we had them plugged in a day before. So when we checked it out, it was cool. Um, it seemed to be working. It was a deal too good to pass up. That's at least what Bobby Solis of Centerton thought about this refrigerator he purchased in Bentonville through Facebook Marketplace. So I had them send out an LG uh, repairman. He determined that this unit was condemned unrepairable because the uh, evaporator fan motor was missing a wire from the factory this way. Solis says he asked for his money back, but the seller refused. All the additional repairs costing him hundreds of dollars. Started doing a little more research and uh, found out his name um, wasn't what he said, wasn't his real name uh, that he sold it to me under. Um, he had lied about that. Sergeant Gene Page with the Bentonville Police Department says scams with big ticket items online are most common among used cars. Red flags can start at the seller's profile. Once you've exchanged money, the, your legal ramifications, if something goes wrong, there is a huge risk there. You don't really have a lot of ways to go back and get your money, so that's one of the risks. According to Facebook policy, if you have a negative experience on Marketplace, you can block and report the seller, leave a rating for the seller, or contact local law enforcement if you're concerned about your physical safety, theft, or fraud. After you've actually seen the goods, you know this is a product you want to buy, and you go ahead and make the full payment on it. Never agree to do payments with another person. So Lee says he's sharing his story so this doesn't happen to other local families, especially from people in local online yard sale groups. Go with the gut, like, I guess know, know how to test certain things. Sergeant Page says if you buy something online, meeting in a public place and in daylight is the best way to stay safe. If you think the item online is fake, you can actually do a reverse image search online using Google. In studio, Kelly O'Neill, Fox 24 News.